All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Char. Come here with me. Come here with me. Yes, honey, you get the picture. Listen, today we're going to have a conversation about Miss Destiny, honey, and a couple other loving marriage Huntsville or a previous loving marriage Huntsville cast members. We are going to talk about it, okay? Couple updates, couple other stuff. Child, we're going to talk about whatever sees fit for this season. All right, but listen, just before I do that, we're going to have a conversation where two people can communicate. There must be a messenger and there must be a receiver. This is not a chat for children, so if you are a child, you probably should exit stage left all right down to the gritty y'all know the rules all right uh make sure you are subscribed to the channel hit the like button turn your notifications on and comment down below because you know i got something to say all right looks like miss destiny here has made a comeback or trying to make a comeback toodles to her honey i don't have nothing to say but right here on the screen child she says that you know, she said some call it arrogance, some calls it confidence. You decide when you find out what I'm working with. She is producing or promoting her products as she should. You use your uh, platform, you know, um, in a way where it will benefit you uh, to not just bash people, but to definitely, you know, build you, you know, to grow you. That's what you're supposed to do. So, girl, you are using that platform correctly. Hopefully it works for you. So she's definitely here with this all black on, honey, and she's wearing those boots and those leather pants, honey, and she is doing Doing what she do okay so hopefully it stays this way but shout out to her for trying to make the comeback you know not giving up not letting nothing stop her you know okay i was fired from one thing now i'm on to the next thing all right so keep pushing it is what it is and i would say the same for anybody okay so hopefully it works out for her because you know we don't want to see nobody lose their job you know whether it was confirmed or not you know we, we know that it was confirmed but we definitely do not want to uh for her to stay down we want her to do some behind the scenes work working on her and then we want to see her make a comeback okay to you know hash some of that bad attitude that we saw in the season outside of the season and just in general right we want her to do some self advice and she come back bigger and stronger all right so that's with destiny let's see who else we have here they are promoting this black event that's going on with um Jaden and Marceau it's hosted by them it says come party with us Omegas tonight, Saturday, March 18th. Goodbye, Love and Marriage Huntsville, Marceau Scott, and Jalen Grant. Okay, and they're giving a the location. She says everyone is free before 10 o'clock. Okay, uh, wear all black. Listen. All right, so if you are in the Huntsville area, they tell y'all to come on down. You're free before 10. Just wear that all black. All right, so again, this is being hosted, which is different. We never see Jalen uh, in any type of promotion. You know, we know he might be behind the scenes working, but we don't ever see them promote him like that or him promoting something. Marriage Huntsville cameras are going to be in attendance. So this is something that we're going to see probably play out on the show if it wasn't cut. So this is their, you know, this is their event and it's being filmed is at the Black Cigar Lounge. So toodles to them for what they got going on. Who else? I think Kimmy. Do Kimmy got something going on? Let me see. She got much going on right now. She's just pretty much promoting Love and Marriage new season for April 8th. Shout, shout out to her for, you know, being positive in these streets for now. Okay, so definitely that's what Kimmy got going on. Let's go down to Melody to see what she got going on. Um, I know Melody will be finishing up her tour um, by the end of this month. She's definitely promoting her um, push through uh, merchandise. She's out with the kids. She was playing in slime with the kids, honey. Now she's back to business. She's getting ready for rehearsal. We see her rehearsing with the girls for her, you know, for the um, the obsession tour. Um, she's it's amazed me how much energy she has right she goes from one flight to the next flight from one event to the next event from mama time to you know her time and you know she even finds some boo time in there child I wish I had the energy that you have but to each his own you're doing awesome okay so we know she's finishing up tour um, for March 22nd March 23rd and March 25th all right so she's coming to an end and these girls are getting it working in honey they is dancing dancing all right they're getting down and low and dirty all right so definitely she's out here doing some amazing things um and i can just you know say that love and marriage Huntsville people are cool right now everybody but that ariana martell i don't know what the hell they got going on but child i ain't there to try to figure it out i'm just saying you know everybody got something going on one way or another to each its own all right that's all i have for you oh you know what i do i wanted to read to you guys this um 
this article about Juan Dixon. You know, he's um, he's been let go from the college basketball team. And it's unfortunate. You know, uh, we know that, that he had this case um, that not he was directly involved in, but they felt like he knew something. Now, the alleged um, termination says that it had nothing to do with the case that he was basically fighting against or involved in. Um, they're saying that it had everything to do with the direction that they were trying to go in um, for the college basketball team. Okay, so Juan Dixon is out here. It says the university has announced um, on his athlete's website that Dixon will not be returning for 2023-2024 season. Um, Coptin State Athletic Director Derek Carter announces that that um, that Dixon is relieved of his duties effective immediately after fully evaluating the men's basketball program um, and performance we feel a change of leadership is necessary moving forward said Carter we wish um, Juan and his family the best for the future we thank him for his time at Copton a former college star at the University of Maryland uh, Dixon was 5'1", 131, uh, only winning less than 40% of his games for the Golden Eagles. He did lead the team to a Mid-Eastern um, um, Athletic Conference title game in 2021, but lost. His best record came in 2019 to 2020, season when he went from 11 to 20, but the season was canceled. C-19, all right, it says national search for new coach has begun. So he has indeed been let go. Um, you know, speculation says that he was let go and they're just using this as a cover-up. I don't know. But, you know, for anybody to lose their job, again, it's unfortunate. But we are definitely, you know, we hope that whatever's happening be behind the scenes, whether he know the real deal or not, um, that, you know, he will shape it up, get a type of ship, okay? Because you're playing a lot of dirty games out here. you out here sleeping around in somebody else's bed. You ain't got no business in, honey. We don't know if you're sleeping in laundromats. We don't know if you're sleeping on cots. Child, we just trying to figure out why the hell you can't get it together. Be man enough to let her go, all right, instead of dragging her through the mud. Because she ain't going to leave you. You're going to have to death. Definitely pick up and leave her. Sis ain't going nowhere. She like one of them ride or die things. You know You know what she is? She that bouncing ball, that, that punching bag you hit and it bounced back to you. It ain't going nowhere. It's not detaching. That's exactly what um, Robin is to Juan. She ain't going nowhere and he knows it. All right. But I say man the hell up. If she doesn't work for you anymore, you get your stuff and you walk out the door. All right. So because um, Robin's job is allegedly on the line, definitely I believe that Juan has lost his job, and then we got Robin job on the line. Child, who's gonna bring the pots and the pans, and who's gonna who's gonna bring in the bacon? Right? We gotta think. Y'all gotta figure that out. Who's going to bring in the bacon? I need to know. But listen. All of this should be something. Sometimes we sell ourselves short to reap the benefits of what we've been reaping and we don't think about the future reaping. Okay, so we have to think about it all the way around while we're trying to cover people's tracks and come for people and say it ain't happened when we know it happened, marry and, and go off and elope in this world. Child, listen, that thing come back and bite you, honey. I know you're buttering because you, you done got bit more than once. I Okay, just snacking away. You done got bit more than once. Like, sis, really? That's what you want to do? Right? So, I listen, I got so much more to say, but I'm going to cut it right here. Y'all meet me in the comment section. Turn your notification on. Hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.